Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by the movie hangout. Well, I gotta I, I gotta talk about this. Um, as you know, there's gonna be a new Ghostbusters film, and it's gonna be Ghostbusters 3. So they are going to pretend like the female Ghostbuster movie never existed. I think pretty much everybody that was a fan of the original two is happy about that. Uh, because the, the the new one was just it just wasn't good. The it it, it was it was obviously done by somebody that didn't didn't really understand why the first two, especially the first one, was a great film. Um, the slapstick comedy in the new one just was kind of lame, as well as the effects. The effects were were not that great, uh, even though they technically were you know smoother, a little more high end computer CGI stuff. Uh, what made the original one cool was that you knew that all the effects were practical. You know, there were actual animatronic puppets. Um, there were in-camera effects. Um, there was real smoke in the room. You know, they didn't like CGI put smoke in the room. And when you see stuff like that, that you know is real, it adds an element of mystery to it. And I just think it's more of a legit film. Um, so news of Ghostbusters 3 has just gone viral all over the internet along with the uh, the little teaser trailer, which I talked about in another video. But what's really funny about this is one of the actresses from the new Ghostbusters film, Leslie Jones, has just gone off the rails. She's totally lost it. I mean, she loses it for pretty much anything, but this is really funny. So as soon as she finds out about this, rather than congratulating uh, Dan Aykroyd or... Bernie Hudson or Bill Murray, like, hey guys, like I heard there's going to be a new uh, installment to your separate Ghostbusters uh, franchise that started it all, you know, good luck. Like rather than that, she immediately goes on the attack on Twitter and some people just shouldn't have a Twitter. So she writes, so insulting, like fuck us. We didn't, spelled D-I-N-T, we didn't count. It's like something Trump would do, and then in parentheses, Trump voice, going to redo Ghostbusters, Steers, Better With Men, Will Be Huge, Those Women Ain't go Ghostbusters, Steers, end quote. I don't know what Trump has to do with any of this. I mean, I don't know. She has Trump derangement syndrome, I think, because there's no reason why you would think about any politician about a movie, but there's a Ghostbusters, but... She goes, ugh, so annoying, suck a dick move, and I don't give a fuck, I'm saying something, double exclamation point. I mean, I, what, do you, what do you say about that, you know? Again, the classy thing she could have done was, hey guys, I want to give a big shout out to Ernie Hudson, Bill Murray, and Dan Aykroyd, I hope you guys, you know, kick ass and do a great job. And then and the uh, third installment of your film, I loved it, watching it as a kid. See, like that that's how you build, like, community. That's how you get along with people. And who knows, like, if she would have reacted that way, maybe they would have brought her in in this new one, you know, and it would have helped her career and stuff, you know, and the public would have liked her more. But no, like, when you immediately just go for the ugly reaction like that um you're not gonna you're not gonna get more fans you're gonna get more people to hate you and anybody that was your fan is gonna you know you're gonna have a percentage of people go like man like that wasn't cool then you're gonna lose lose fans so i just thought that was just funny I, we're gonna see a lot more of that guaranteed we're gonna see a lot more people just losing it and making this about like men versus women or something when it's not that at all it's just about making a good movie and that's all it is. A movie is a ride. We all want to go on a good ride. We don't want to go on a ride where you're going to go up to the hill for a big, you know, on the roller coaster ride, but then they stop it and they, they like read like some, some like morality play to you or something like nobody wants that. Um, but anyways, what do you guys think about Leslie Jones's attack on all the all the Ghostbuster fans, all the, uh, the cast of the Ghostbusters, the producers of the Ghostbusters. What, what do you what do you guys think about that? 
Comment below, uh, let me know. And if you want to get future rants, reviews, and original content, click subscribe. Later.